To a story you'll see only on two, there are new efforts underway to crack down on an elaborate scheme growing more rampant in our community. As we've reported recently, Houston police say criminals are using fake IDs to get behind the wheel of luxurious cars. Now, some are getting busted before they can even make a getaway. Our Andy Sirota is at the Houston Police Department with a closer look at this crackdown. All new at five. Diamond Jones is the latest to join a growing list of suspected serial fraudsters that includes Jorge Lamarch and Jarius Bell. Like the other two, Jones, who is 24, is accused of using a fake identity to buy multiple high-end vehicles from local dealerships valued at more than $130,000. They try to get as many as they can obtain. So sometimes that can be one, sometimes it can be two, sometimes it can be multiple vehicles. It's an elaborate scheme. During the past three years, through its network with Houston area car dealerships, HPD has prevented over $4 million in fraud by arresting the accused thieves on the spot. When we find new information regarding incidents and crimes that are occurring, we send out those notifications to the dealerships. The Houston Automotive Dealers Association works closely with HPD to not only help them catch the bad guys, but to also educate dealerships on how to train employees to spot red flags when someone comes in to buy a vehicle. We have databases that we can access um, remotely in order to verify identifications, driver's license. Police say these are not victimless crimes. Every time someone doesn't get caught, the cost can get passed on to you, the consumer. It does have a trickle down effect. Thankfully, you know, there's systems in place and, and stuff to not impact the consumer as much. But, you know, when any theft happens, it's definitely impacting more than one person. HPD says it is leading the way in preventing this kind of fraud. Many law enforcement agencies are looking to HPD's program as a model to try to do the same thing in their jurisdictions. Live downtown tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.